Ellen, it's Amanda from AmandaFrances.com here per usual to bring you tips on designing a life and a business you're beyond completely wildly obsessed with. And today is one of my favorite days ever because we have my friend and mentor and longtime woman I've been obsessed with, Gabrielle Bernstein. Hi, Gabby. Hi, everybody. Hello, Amanda. Hi, I'm so pumped you're here. Okay. So we're just going to dive in. Gabby and I are going to give you tips today for putting yourself out into the world, putting products, digital products, in-person products out into the world, um, creating an audience, going bigger, growing your brand, and just getting more of what you're here to give into the world. So Gabby, here's my, my people. Okay, so my people are a couple years into business mostly. Some are brand new, but mostly they're a couple years in. And they get that their work is important and of high service and they're, they're getting their value, but it's like time to take action. It's time to take steps. It's time to like get the coaching package or the digital course together and like do it for real. You know what I mean? I got it. I yeah. got it. I know so, where they are. Yeah, it's a really good place to be. Okay. So with that in mind, I'm going to ask you questions along these lines. Okay. So, say you, Gabby, have an event or an appearance or a book launch or a, a, a course coming out. How do you prepare to go live? Like, what do you do energetically and practically so that you can show up and go big? Well, it kind of begins the night before with what I eat for dinner. <laughs> because I'm pretty conscious at this point about what takes me out. And as you know, I don't drink, I don't eat sugar, I don't eat white flour. I mean, there's certain things I can't eat, right? And I can't do. So I'm really aware of what I do the night before. Do, am I sleeping well? Am I eating well? Because if I don't, it can take me out. If I have a big talk the next day, it's like it can affect you the entire next day. So I'm, I'm mindful of even 24 hours before. Um, the day of a big event or a talk, I usually try not to pack in too many distracting things. I try not to. Uh, I won't book any calls. I won't book to, you know other appointments. I'll, I'll be pretty pretty free throughout the day. And then I often do um, a very deep meditation practice before I head over to the venue or do the live webinar or whatever it is and really ground myself. And then prior to the talk, if I'm at a venue, I'll go into like a green room or something and I'll do another deep meditation through 30 minutes before the practice, before the event. And I also say lots of prayers. You know, I prepare, I prepare myself energetically just asking to be of service and get out of the way. Right. So mindful about what you put in your body and what you, like, let yourself be, like, vulnerable to the day of. Like, you yeah. focus on the event solely and, like, don't get distracted by the million other things. That's right. Yeah. Super good. Okay. So the people here, we call ourselves the spiritual boss ladies. So they're... They're like you and I, they're boss ladies. They intend to like get shit done and make money and like change the world, but they're like spiritual in nature. So what's your your balance between that like go, 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 go get it, girl, I can get it done, like I can control everything and like I'm in charge and like universe guide me, I'm willing to step back and be like led. Well, I think I'm honestly, Amanda, 16 years into being a business owner, only really finding the balance now. Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I hope because all these people are really new to their business, I hope that what they hear me say today will save, hopefully save their lives. <laughs> um, you, you can achieve a lot by being forceful and, and controlling in nature and trying to make things happen. But ultimately there has to be a balance because otherwise you, are the effect of that you get you become the victim of that in a sense and while of course i've infused so much spirit into my business and the way that i run a business because it's been led by inspiration that many 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 miracles and, and benefits and support and and successes have occurred because the work is based on inspiration but the biggest thing that's been getting in the way that I honestly got to say, like, I can't even, I can't even imagine what my business will become now that I'm learning to bring this new element in is the element of, of letting go and the element of asking for help. I have been severely understaffed for 16 years and I've only now been properly staffing my, my business. I mean, I've hired five people in the last month. 
okay? Maybe actually six people in the last month. And I, I, you know, we all have our own reasons why we try to control. For me, it was work addiction. And I'm actually putting a name to it now for the first time. And I'll be talking about this a lot in my masterclass because it's something that we have to be really careful about, especially when you're inspired by your work. When you're inspired by your work, you're like, it's not work addiction. I love it so much. It's just what I love to do. I could do it all day long. But there's something you're running from if you're just in that fast forward pace all day long. So I see your eyes going like, hmm, what am I running from? So I just want to be conscious of telling people that because there's nothing wrong with being so inspired by your work that you could literally do it and you jump out of bed to get back to work. But just be conscious now of how off balance you may become and how off balance you may be already. And take note of that and create some boundaries. And so some of the boundaries that I've created, or I want to say almost like in the 12 steps when they say 90 days, no drugs and alcohol, I'm actually doing 90 days of workaholic boundaries. And they are, I exercise every morning. And I do that because it's me time right when I wake up. I'm meditating every morning for 20 minutes and meditating every afternoon for 20 minutes. I'm counting to 90 on this, and hopefully that will be, continue to be my life practice because I need to create the new pattern. And then I'm also going to get my nails done on a Friday afternoon rather than continuing at the desk just because I have more work to do, you know? But mm -hmm. instead of doing that, I'm doing something for myself. So I'm doing, I'm doing certain things that I was so uncomfortable doing before, but um, and then a lot of it also is just asking for help and, and trusting that it's getting done. Yeah. So like, okay, I'm hearing all this and I'm a control freak business owner and I'm thinking I started that way. I started just wanting to be able to meditate and work out and eat well before I started business. I had all these pure intentions on the lifestyle I would create and you grow and you get busier and you get busier and you get busier. So you show up and show up and show up and show up and then I don't know if you do this. I feel good at I feel good at my job. I feel good at what I do. So when life is chaotic and when I don't know what's going on, I feel like me and the computer and God can like change the world. But then it's like an addiction, right? Because then I'm retreating, I'm avoiding, might as well be yeah. free if I'm going yeah. to work. Um you said when everything's chaotic in my life, I'm at my computer and it's me and God. Well, that's actually you thinking that that's God. You are using your work as your source. Like, that's how I get away. That's how I can avoid dealing with the, what's chaotic in the world. And letting God, there's a difference. I mean, you also let spirit work through you in your work. We're not taking that away. Yeah. But don't let your work be your savior. Right. I just know I can find my inspired place and I can find my connection when I get on my computer and I'm ready to create content for people, right? So I can That's when you're connected, yeah. And that that's beautiful. And I think that there's a difference between being in the source of your work and super inspired and like you could just do it all day and you're so excited about it and using it as a way of avoiding. So just know the difference. I agree. So then it's likely that both are happening. It, it's definitely likely that you're in source and you're inspiring. Yeah. And then it's possible that you may be avoiding with your work too. And I'm not saying you, everybody, you know, everybody. No, totally. And so your balance for that right now is setting your hours. Friday afternoons you're taking off. I heard you say before you don't take calls anymore on certain days. I only take calls on Tuesdays. I only do webinars on Mondays. I set all these boundaries, but it's still easy to just work when there's work to do, you know? And create more work. Right. I could just do this or update this or just work on this. Right. Yeah, totally. Of course. Totally. I always say let it be easy. Let it be simple. Don't make it complicated. Don't make it hard. And I think I'm, I'm good at that. But then you're right. If we're escaping and we're using it for escape, then we'll always find more to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with that in mind, so we want to be spirit. We're spiritual people. We want to be in tune more than we want anything else, more than we want money or going a business or whatever the fact that we want to change the world comes first, right? So how do you set your practical, logical goals? Like for a number you want to make on a, a course or a book deal or the number of people you want to get in the audience, how do you set your goals but still stay spiritually in tune with those goals? I think that there's nothing wrong with having goals and visions, but let them go, right? So uh, have a desire of how many people you want in the room, but then mainly be committed to the desire of whoever needs to be there, we'll let them get there. Right. 
And, you know, if it's this number, great. And if it's a different number, great. Whoever needs to be there, let them get there. Whoever this will serve in the highest right now, let them find it. Right, right. And then you can just let go and show up, right? Help the universe do its thing. Okay. So, my next question. So, when you want to put something into the world, when you have an inspiration, like you know, judgment detox, you're saying it was coming out of me. Like it was like, I had to say it, like I couldn't help, help it. I feel that way with my courses. When you have something that's ready to be born, like what are, what do you do to carve out time and space to let it come forth being a busy person? Some of my people like haven't quit their jobs yet, you know, or they're, they're part time or whatever. Like how do you make that happen in your new business? I think a lot of that happens naturally, you know, I think that um, stepping out is something that occurs when you feel called to go bigger. And I think that it's just staying in the commitment of what you're doing every day and staying in the desire of what it is you want to create that allows a lot to create around you and a lot of support to be unfolding in front of you. And so yeah, just staying really grounded in the commitment and the conviction of what you want to bring forth. So like being in tune every day with the desire of what it is you're here to give and kind of trusting that it will come through. You'll find the time you'll be inspired. It will occur. Yeah, I, I think, you know, keep it in the day. Each day saying how can I be devoted, how can I be devoted more today to this commitment that I'm making? What can, how can I feel awesome when I'm doing it? How much joy can I bring to it? And being in the joy of it all is what allows it to unfold and just expand and blow up, right? Have, and, yeah, I do. Have you found that in your work, though? Have you had those seasons, asking personally, have you had those times where you do love the work? It's not that you don't love it. You're just fucking tired. Like, you were inspired by what you created, but the work of getting it out there is work. Yeah, um, for the past 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I finally found the right team and I think that if you're starting out you do a lot on your own and that's just the reality and you can get people to help you at a very cheap rate there's lots of hourly people that can be very inexpensive so however you can find resources and support even starting early getting into the habit of hiring people and getting help that's probably the biggest piece of advice I could give you because I didn't do it and I suffered 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 immensely my my physical body suffered my my energy body suffered, my relationship suffered, like my business probably suffered. While it may look like I've had a lot of successes, I can't even imagine what it could have been had I had the support that I have now. Totally, yeah, I always tell people see someone, what yeah, someone who costs $15 an hour, who knows a lot more than you can get more done in two hours than you can learn in a week. Like well, when you you're- Get off of your plate so you can do your zone of genius. Right. So you can say in that float inspirational place of creating the content or coaching the people or the parts that only you can do yourself, the parts exactly. that don't do for you. Right. Totally. And with you. So with that in mind, how do you pick people? You know, I think that um, in my world, I've actually hired recently two, three of the people that I've recently hired, actually either one volunteered for me. <clears throat> one was formerly my publicist in the UK who left her job. And then I was like, I'm scooping you up. Um, so there are people that I knew, and in my life today, I actually felt much, much more comfortable hiring people that I already had a relationship with because they were going to know the inner workings of my business, and I needed to trust them. Um, I hired someone to support with some um, online stuff, and she's someone who's been literally volunteering with my site, herfuture.com, for the past six years for free. And finally, I just called. I was like, I have a job for you, and you're hired. You know, so really identifying the people in your world that are supporting you for free and being like, yo, I'm going to make this bigger. Let's go. The other way that I've hired is my husband went out and found the experts. And, you know, that's the place that I'm at today. And I wasn't there 10 years ago, but today I am where I can pay a premium for the best of the best. And we've hired the best infusion soft experts and the fancy website company and, you know, the people that are the most educated on member sites. And so, Maybe it was formerly $25 an hour, maybe $125 an hour, but I don't care because that's the level of business that I've set up today. You know, um, 10, 11 years ago, I had assistants that were $25 an hour, and that's what it had to be. You know, so it's right. wherever you are, and, and you, you know, you have to be willing to spend the money when the business grows. You have to, and that was a big mistake I made. I was just 
you know, caught in a story of like, I got to do it myself. And it, it really got the best of me. Yeah, I totally know. Yeah, I was looking at it today and I'm paying someone more now than I made my first couple years in business. But she knows the inner workings of my business and she can run so much of it. Like, it's yeah. Worth it's every a, penny. What? It's worth every penny. It's worth every penny. And we talk about this a lot in my community because we talk about money and money mindset a whole, 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 whole lot. That money is not good or bad. It's a neutral resource. And the purpose of it is to get your gifts into the world in, in a greater way. And women feel so guilty for earning, but when you just like decide that you are worthy, worthy of every penny, then you can support yourself and support others, support working moms. Like the women who I pay, I think are amazing. I yeah. want to support their lives as they support my growing business, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've had the same experience of hiring people who mostly just followed my work and I knew them and I saw them supporting me and loving my stuff. And then when I had a task that I needed saying like, Hey, I feel like this is something you know how to do. And it always being like natural and non scary. And I already know what they believe like spiritually and like I trust them. Right. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So let's tie this all together. As you guys probably know, if you followed me online for very long, I am a proud alumni of the Spirit Junkie Masterclass. I'm wearing my Spirit Junkie shirt right now. And I have a really insanely amazing offer for you that really complements the digital launch of Gabby's Spirit Junkie Masterclass Digital. So Gabby, why don't you talk about the Masterclass a little bit and then I'll talk about my offer. Yeah, so we only launched the digital Masterclass once a year. and. Amanda, you attended live. And so what the digital course is, is it's actually a compilation of the three live trainings that have already happened. And we took, um, I've taken 17 plus hours of the live training. I personally watched every minute of those videos and worked with my editor to edit them down and then amortize them over an eight module course. And the eight modules takes you through the training. And so it's, it's 17 hours, but it's broken up into really divine bits where you can get the messaging and the training. And the training is the most fantastic training I've, I've ever experienced. Um, I mean, it's, re it's really one of the most transformational things. And I think that everybody that t takes it, whether they take it live or online, walks away being like, that fucking blew my mind. And what it is, is it's a spiritual experience and it's a business training. So the first half of the training is really helping you clear whatever blocks are in your way of owning your voice or owning your power, owning your abundance, clearing your fear mentality, clearing your money fear mentality, and stepping up and rising up and owning your power, learning how to protect your energy, learning how to bring your spiritual beliefs into your work. The second half of the training is how to make money doing what you love and what you're passionate about. And that second half is like, we've got amazing trainers like Derek Halpern, we've got people doing uh, how to turn your blog into a business, we've got Kim Raluna this year on how to turn your webinar into a, a multi-million dollar business. Um, we've got the, uh, the head marketer at Hay House coming on to talk about books and publishing and publicity. Um, there's, Chris, there's just the most incredible speakers in this training, just blowing your mind. And in addition, I talk about how to run a spiritual business and how to manifest media for your message. And really the big thing that's the biggest takeaway from this training is that the main feedback we get from people is that they walk away taking action. They walk away saying, "I that thing that I've been meditating about for 30 years or 10 years or five years or one year is now what I'm doing. And it gets people into action. It blows their businesses and their lives up. And it is the best thing ever. And we're in the launch right now. And you've got some gifts for people when they sign up on your page. I do, yes. And before I go there, though, I'm just, I've gone twice to, to the live event and I've watched the current version of the digital I don't know how to explain to you what happened. I don't know if I've ever said this to you. I I already had one digital course that had, I had just created when I went to level one for the first time. And I don't know how my business sped up like it did. I don't know how I got four courses out that year. I have no idea how my audience, I don't even know, times 20 grew in like my email. I mean, like I did the work. I had always been committed to doing the work. But it was like, I felt like that that weekend, and like you said, the energy is held in the digital a million percent, but I felt like 
this is what you're so genius at. You rise us up. You hold the energy of a room or of someone watching you. Because, I mean, I watched you online for years, way before I was ever in a room with you. But you, like, hold this energy of, like, you can do it. You can rise up. Like, everyone rise up with me. And what I felt like after that time with you in, in that room and watching online is that um, it was, like, the team of cosmic forces and, and me, like, connected on this new way. And it was, like, okay, Amanda, we're, like, pushing you out now, like, it's time. It was That's like, exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. I mean, I was making money before I was supporting myself before, but I, I up, I up leveled. I showed up and I said, I'm ready to go. And I have no words for what we've been doing mm -hmm. since. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a lifetime believer and a fan of million percent. So Speaking of courses, everyone on here knows that. That's what I do. I create digital courses. That's one of my zo zones of genius is taking a process or a system that I've taught to myself or brought myself through and that I've brought clients through and then turning it into a system of a digital course so that I can take my best content and record it once and sell it forever. And so I have a course called Course Creation Queen. It's super good, six-week course, and it takes you through the process of getting your system, your gift, your thing that you know how to do that you love to teach people and turning it into a digital course, like I said, that you create once, record once, sell forever, and that is automated so that, so that when someone buys it, you get the money in your account and they get module one. And so we automate it in such a way from the very beginning, like from you recording your content to you creating your sales page to you getting your payment buttons on the sales page, I show you the back end the scary tech stuff, I'm really good at making simple, and mm. I show you the entire process of just getting a digital course into the world. Mm. And so it's this course only comes out once a year, and it's launching next month, and I'm going to sell it for $12.99, I believe, and you get it free with Gabby's Masterclass for the next 48 hours, and 48 hours for cart closes. So you have 48 hours left to get the 17 hours of – incredible life-changing content you'll be inspired you'll be ready to take action then you can go into my course and take action I love it girl you're throwing it down it's super, throwing it down it's super good like I, I mean I really believe that that's what a, what a lot of people will be needing and wanting after master class yeah. okay I'm seeing what happens I'm seeing how a digital product works yeah and how it can change someone's life it's changing my life right now so it's how a perfect compliment to the training, yeah. Yeah, so okay, we have like a couple minutes. Anything else you wanna say? You know, I just wanna say, um, we've had a lot of people that have joined the training, whether it be online or in person, that have said things like, I have no idea why I got here. I have no idea why I signed up. But, I, but they come out and they say, I had no clue how I landed there, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me, or was the best thing that helped me clear that fear and, and step in, and so, if there's a voice that's saying, yeah, I mean, this doesn't make any sense to me, but it sounds like I should do this or I feel this feeling, trust that. And I think that that's a big piece here because we've got people all all over the world saying, I had no idea why, but I just had to say yes. And they never, ever regretted it. It's just, we've only had positive feedback. I, I cannot be more proud of what this, what this training is and all the people who have gone through it. Yeah, it's incredible. And... Um... I, yeah, I want to speak to where I was when I signed up the first time. When I signed up the first time, I, ha I had enough clients and um, coaching was supporting me. Like, I was about to launch, like, I mean, I was, do I was doing the damn thing, but I was doing it at a much slower pace. But the price point honestly freaked me out. It was like half of what I made every month or something at that time. And so, to anyone in that position, uh, a, let payment plans be your friends. Pay it off over time. It is okay to choose the payment. Yes, we have a six pay, which is like the easiest thing to manage. Yeah. Yes. Like let like go don't go out to dinner too much this month and do the master class. <laughs> right. So like let payment plans be your friend. And then the other thing that I would want to say is that uh, it was the best money I ever spent, but. Something about spending the money on myself when it didn't make logical sense and I wasn't sure how I was going to pay for it up-leveled my business. I energetically said me and my business are worth a high dollar training. This is where we're at. This is where we're going. I'm going to 
go hear what Gabby has to say. Like I, I had to, like I had to, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and now it's not that much money anymore because I grew a business. Like, Girl. it's super, super good. Okay, well, I love you. Thank okay, you so I'm much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you for doing this with me. And, and yeah, y'all, 48 hours to get in the Spirit Junkie Masterclass Digital yes. and Course Creation Queen. 48 hours left. We're super excited. Email assistant at amandafrancis.com if you have any questions and to get my unique link so that you have, sorry, I should have said this earlier, you have to use my link to be enrolled in Course Creation Queen. So go to amandafrancis.com slash spirit junkie. Everyone watching this on my website right now, there is links underneath right below. Click on the button and it'll take you to the right page to sign up. Go, go. Beautiful. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.